Welcome back, everyone. Get ready to dive deep, because today we're heading straight to the Emerald Isle. Ireland. Always up for that. What treasures are we uncovering this time? Well, this was for all you castle dreamers out there. Yeah. We're talking Dromelin Castle and a whole bunch of Irish adventures inspired by that Love Ireland newsletter we all can't get enough of. Sounds like a plan. Is Dromeland as magical as everyone says? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? The article gives it a big thumbs up, but you know me, gotta get the expert's take. What do you think? Worth the hype. Well, let's see, what are we working with here? They hit all the luxury buzzwords, five-star hotel, championship golf course, yeah. Michelin star restaurant, you know, the works. Fancy, fancy, but we're here for more than just fancy, right? What kind of experience are we talking about at Drama Land? Right. Like, is it really a castle experience? You know what I mean? Ah, you've hit on a key point. See, Irish castles, they're not like those imposing fortresses you might find elsewhere. They were often grand estates built for entertaining. It's all tied into that Irish tradition of hospitality. So it's like stepping back in time, but in a welcoming way. Speaking of history, though, yeah. Dromelin's in County Clare, right? What's that region all about? Oh, County Clare is special. Think dramatic cliffs plunging into the Atlantic, landscapes straight out of a storybook, and tranquil lakes that just make you want to pause and take it all in. The article specifically mentions the Cliffs of Moher, the Barn Landscape, and Loft Derg. I mean, talk about variety. What's the vibe like in each of those spots? Paint me a picture. Okay, picture this. You're at the Cliffs of Moher, standing high above the Atlantic, feeling that ocean breeze. You're surrounded by this raw, powerful beauty. It's exhilarating. Okay, so dramatic seascapes. Check. What about the Burren? That one sounds a little different. The Burren is in a world of its own. Almost lunar, you could say. Imagine vast stretches of limestone, wildflowers dotting the landscape, these ancient rock formations. It's less about checking sites off a list and more about just being in this place that feels almost otherworldly. It really sparks the imagination, doesn't it? And then there's Loft Derg. Even the name sounds so peaceful. It is. Loft Derg is all about serenity. Imagine yourself gliding along the water, surrounded by hills, completely at peace. It's a place for quiet reflection, maybe even a spiritual experience for some. It's amazing how County Clare packs in so much variety. You know? And that's what makes Dromaland so special. You've got that luxurious home base, but you're also a stone's throw from all those different sides of Ireland, nature, history, folklore, you name it. Drumaland luxury and a launch pad for adventure. Love mm -hmm. it. Now, speaking of adventure, the newsletter mentions a few other spots that pique my interest. Like Galway, for example, Festival City. What's the story there? Galway is pure vibrancy. We're talking over a hundred festivals and events every year. Traditional music, lively markets, celebrations of art and craft. Okay. There's always something going on, always that energy. It sounds like Galway has that infectious Irish spirit in spades. And then there's this wild Atlantic way they mentioned. What is that exactly? Well, picture this, a coastal route that stretches over 1,500 miles along Ireland's western coast. The wild Atlantic way is a journey through rugged cliffs, hidden beaches, Charming villages, basically. The best of Ireland's coastal scenery. So less about speed, more about soaking it all in. Exactly. Take your time, savor every moment, every view. I'm sold. Now for a detail I have to ask about, they mentioned tap dancing in pubs. As if the music wasn't enough, right? Have you ever encountered anything like that? It's that element of surprise that makes Ireland so special. You never know what you'll stumble upon in those pubs. Speaking of, any memorable travel surprises you've encountered? Oh, tons. I remember stumbling upon a local festival in the south of France once. Music, dancing, the whole shebang. Completely unplanned, but it ended up being one of the highlights of my trip. Sounds like those unexpected moments of joy are pretty common in Ireland, too. They're the best, aren't they? Those unplanned moments often lead to the most authentic cultural connections. 100%. <laughs> and speaking of authentic, the newsletter includes a recipe for Irish soda bread. What makes that bread so special? How does it fit into the whole picture of Irish cuisine. It's amazing how food tells a story, you know, like what's the story behind Irish soda bread? Oh, it's a classic tale of resourcefulness you see in Ireland with the weather not always cooperating for those traditional yeasted breads. They needed something else. And so soda bread was born with baking soda as the leavening agent. Brilliant, really. So practical. And now look at its staple. And now we've got Michelin star restaurants like the one in Drummelland. What a journey Irish cuisine has taken. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? You have those traditional dishes like your soda bread, stews, fresh seafood, often made with local ingredients, and then you have chefs taking those same core elements, and while they get innovative, elevating them with modern techniques and global influences, 
but always with respect for that Irish culinary heritage. It's a beautiful evolution. From humble soda bread to hot cuisine. Speaking of bridging different worlds, the newsletter talks about the Craic. And, well, that sounds like a whole other deep dive right there. Ah, the Craic. It's as essential to the Irish experience as a good pint of Guinness, you could say. We've dedicated a whole section to it. But I got to admit, it feels a bit hard to grasp. How would you explain the crake to someone who's never experienced it firsthand? It's not something you can hold in your hand. It's more of a feeling. Imagine being in a cozy pug. A traditional music session is in full swing. Everyone's clapping, tapping their feet, stories and laughter are flowing. There's this warmth, this connection in the air that's the crake. So it's about that shared energy, that pure joy that seems to just happen naturally in those authentic Irish settings. Right? Exactly. It's about living in the moment, connecting with those around you and embracing that warmth and genuine conviviality that Ireland is known for. Makes me think, can a place like Dromaland, as grand and polished as it is, can it really capture that true, the craic feeling? Or is that something you find more in those smaller towns and pubs, the ones the newsletter mentions? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Dromaland promises a certain kind of luxury, a refined experience, but the crick, while it often finds you when you least expect it could be in a village pub, sharing stories with locals or listening to a captivating storyteller weave tales of Irish folklore. It all comes back to those genuine human connections, doesn't it? Whether they happen in a castle or a village pub, it seems like that's where the real magic of Ireland lies. It's amazing how much we've uncovered about Ireland in just one deep dive. You've got those luxurious escapes like Dramaland, and then those simpler, authentic experiences like finding the Craig. Really makes you think about what makes a place special, huh? It's about going beyond the surface, isn't it? Looking past those picture-perfect postcards and finding those genuine connections that make a place truly come alive. It's about the journey, not just the destination, right? And it sounds like Ireland's got one heck of a journey waiting for anyone who's ready. Oh, absolutely. Breathtaking landscapes, stories that go back centuries, warm hospitality, and of course, the Craig. What more could you ask for? I'm ready to book a flight right now. How about you? You read my mind. There's a certain magic about Ireland, something that stays with you long after you've said goodbye. Well said. And there you have it, folks. Another deep dive in the books. We explored Dromaland Castle, got a taste of those can't-miss Irish adventures, and even learned a thing or two about the Craig. Don't forget to check out the show notes for all the details and links from today's episode. Until next time, happy travels, everyone.